Okay, here we go. So I found a very old piece of code that I wrote probably in about 1997-98 when I was in third year of college. Uh, this was a game uh, called Rattle Race, uh, really, and it's uh, something I found on Windows operating system, Windows 95, I believe, and I thought I'll write it myself. So this is in C++, um, simple bitmaps to draw shapes, and then uh, you can probably see it's like uh, single file, multiple classes, and 985 lines of code to to write this simple game. And um, in order to run the game, I could not find any computer that will run Turbo C++ on MS-DOS. So I had to install a software called DOSBox on my Windows 64-bit uh, machine and uh, I'll give you a demonstration of how this looks. So I'm gonna launch this. I'm trying to type with one hand while holding the camera or my phone in the other hand. So here you go. So this is a game, simple game of uh, speed and agility and uh, some rules and how to score. Uh, I won't bother you or bore you with that, but let me show you how the game looks like. So you've got three levels here. I'm gonna, uh, I haven't played this game in a long, long time, but I'll try the expert level. Uh, to sound, turn on, why not? Here you go, so there's a snake. Oops, yeah, see, I haven't played in a, long time so you need to try and eat these apples oh wow I'm very bad at it and the apples turn green actually and if you eat a green apple you get more points and the objective is to eat as many apples as you can uh, I'm not good at it at all so wow that's the game but let me try one more time and you can see there's a um, there's a timer running on the right side and you've got to eat those apples while you have um, time on hand. If you run out of time then then you lose. Okay, let's try it one more time. Wow. I think I need to go back to the beginner level. But I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, it moves super fast. And I need to concentrate with... Ah. Okay, I'm gonna try the uh, easier level. Uh, beginner, I'll start at beginner and see if I can at least finish one round. Okay, it's moving much slower now. Of course I will get less points, but at least I can at least finish one round. I believe I created nine rounds and at that time in college it became a big hit. A lot of my friends used to play this, but at the same time we used to get scolded by our professors that, you know, why are you guys wasting your time? <laughs> Those were fun days, but looks like I finished one level here. Oh, barely. Yeah, made it. And second level. Uh, so the uh, the objective here is that the uh, the obstacles are different and you get more points it's it gets difficult as you of course ouch almost there as you advance through the levels so let's see if I can eat a green apple ah missed it oh got it so you get more more uh, points for the green apple and uh, the apples don't turn green randomly, but they don't stay green forever. So you got to speed up and uh, get to those apples in time before they turn back to red again. Let's see if I can finish this round. Ouch, missed it. Yeah, I cannot hit myself. Oh, I'm going to get into a trap now. Let's see if I can, ooh, 
almost wow okay I'm getting a hang of it ah okay never mind I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of what the game looks like I'm playing this after a good 15 years and I wrote this code in like I said in my third year of engineering college in uh, REC Kurukshetra so this is Ritesh Jain um, signing off and I hope to record some more videos of some other fun games uh, I wrote back in the days. Uh, this was written on a Turbo C++ platform on MS-DOS and I do have some other ones that I wrote in Pascal. Uh, there was a car racing game. I will see if I can find that. And if I do, then I will upload a video of it. Thank you for watching and I'll be in touch. Thanks. Bye.